The next movie with CERCE 3.0, we're going to actually take the file, new job, from our Carlson GPS Surveyor Plus data collector, download it into Carlson Survey, and then upload it back into an Allegro MX data collector that runs the Carlson robot. To start, we're going to go to Carlson Survey 2014, load that. And we're going to go and we're going to just do exit here. And we're going to go to survey and select data collectors. And we're going to select Carlson Service ECSI mobile. And I'm already connected with this data collector. And if I scroll down, this is the PC side, the remote, and the local PC over here. We're going to go to Demo Files and pick Opus Log. And I'm going to pick New Job and just do Transfer. Would you like to also include all files by the same job name? We're going to say Yes. File Transfer Complete. That didn't take long. And so it downloaded the coordinate file and the raw file. And we'll pick Exit. And at this point, I'm going to um, go to Points and do Set Coordinate File. And we'll do Browse. Go to Opus Long. And there's the job. And go to Draw Locate Points. And we'll do Draw All. And there's the three points. Now I'll just come down here to move attribute layer, there's the opus point, and there's point two and point one. So, okay, we're going to unplug the USB port. That brings that up. You can see it's not connected. And we're going to plug it in to our Allegro MX data collector. It is connecting. Connect without setting up device, and we're going to minimize that. And now we're going to go back to Survey and select Data Collectors, Serve CE, and this time we're going to grab new coordinate file and upload this into the data collector and do Transfer. Would you also like to include all the jobs of the same name? Yes. File Transfer Complete. If I type here and type N, it goes and type N again. There's the new job, and it's uploaded all the files. So that's completed there. And we're going to go to the Start menu here and select Serve CE. And we're going to select a new job. And the file is called New Job. And we're going to go to Equipment tab. We're going to select Localization. And we're going to select the TS tab. And we want to use, select the toggle, Use Ground to Grid. And it comes up here with the scale factor. We're going to pick the calculator. And we're going to come down here and select grid coordinates. And we can just come up here on the screen and pick one. And there is the scale factor to convert ground down to grid. There is the combined scale factor. And if I bring this up and move it over, you can see that we have four nines and a seven two, and we have four nines and a six seven. Approximately rounds to five, uh, four nines and a seven, and here we have four nines and a seven. So very cl close um, scale factor. We're getting four nines and a seven four. Here we have four nines and a seven four for the grid, and the height scale factor isn't here, but. <clears throat> the 
that pretty much shows you that the calculation for the uh, to go from ground to grid is virtually the same that was given from Opus for the same point number and location in Pennsylvania South Zone, NAT 83 Zone. We can run the total station. So now we're going to go to total station. Everything is set correctly. We'll just pick the green button. We're connecting to the Carlson robot. Go to survey. And we're going to do store points. First go to robotics. Do a power search. Okay, so we have, we're locked. Now we go back to the setup here. And, okay, the instrument height is six. The backside point, we're gonna select the graphics and pick the backside point three, and then pick backside. And we're gonna do set angle and read, and this will have the robot take a shot to the backside. And you can see that the delta distance difference is only three thousandths and three hundredths on the elevation. We pick OK. And we are now tracking and we're sitting on one, backsliding three. And we're going to change the foresight point number to 101. And the description to FS for foresight. And we just took a shot by pressing the S button and we stored our point 101. Okay. And that completes setting up SurfC 3.0 with the total station using the GPS data and going from ground back to grid.